Today's tutorial will walk you through the steps of displaying a Hello World pop-up window on our HMI when prompted. First thing we must do is go to the EV5000 HMI editing software. Select File, New. We want to name this Hello World. Okay. I have previously created this program, so I'm just going to go ahead and click Yes. This brings us to the EV5000 user interface. Here we have our configuration toolbar, graph element window, project files window, project structure window, message window, and lastly we have our configuration window. First thing we must do is select the HMI we will be utilizing today, which is the MT4300T. Click and drag to the configuration window, select OK. As you can see, our HMI has been given the label of HMI0. Next we go to the tree view, select HMI 0 which will bring us to frame 0 which is the startup frame that will be displayed every time the HMI is powered up. First thing we must do is create a new window which will house our hello world text. Click add window, we will name this hello world. As you can see this frame looks just like the rest. Since this is a pop-up window, we want to distinguish it from any other window. So to do this, we double click and we will start by changing our dimensions to 200 by 100. We will change our background color to a green. And we will add a border, which will be red. Click OK. As you can see, our dimensions have been shrunk. A border has been added and our background color is now green. Next, we must add text to this frame, so we will go to Draw, select Static Text, and here we will type in Hello World. Click OK. We can place this wherever we would, we'd like. Now that we have created a frame with Hello World in it, we must now create a direct window which will retrieve this frame. To do that, we must go to the Common Window, which houses all direct windows. Select on the direct window, drag to our common window. As you can see here, this is our read address. This is the bit that activates the direct window. LB0 will be fine, we'll leave it there. Next we go to the direct window tab. We must select the frame that we want to display, which is Hello World. Next we want to make sure that the dimensions of Hello World frame and our direct window match. So we will change this to 200 by 100. Okay, place this somewhere on the middle of the screen. Now that we have done that, we need something that will instantiate this window. So we will go to our frame zero, select a bit, stating, bit state setting. We have to make sure that our write address is the same as the read address of our direct window housing our hello world frame. It is, so we go to bit state setting, this is the functionality of the actual bit state setting. We can have it set to on, off, toggle, reset, or several other settings. But for today, we will be using toggle. If we like, we could add a tag, but for today's demonstration, we will not do that. We do need to make sure that a graphic is tied to this bit state setting, which it is. So now we can just simply select OK, place it where we'd like, hit save. We should always go to tools and compile our project make sure that we have no errors. The compilation is done with no warnings and no errors. So next we can do is do an offline simulation to view our final result. Here we have our button which will retrieve the direct window. And somewhere on our screen our hello world window should pop up when pressed. So here we go. There we go. Hello world. Hello world gone. Hello world. Hello world gone. Although this example might be somewhat simplistic, this is the basis of calling and instantiating all your windows and frames.